Hey, what's up? This is Emeka Cameron here. 11 days off the Nationals. Today is Monday. I'm off today, so that's that's great. You know, I get to sleep in a little bit. It's about 8.30. Waking up, getting ready to do my morning cardio. And I know some people wake up at like, you know, 5, 6 a.m. to do morning cardio. But to me, it's just about getting up and getting cardio done on an empty stomach. So... I just rolled out of bed, man, finna do this cardio, about 30 minutes, doing cardio three times a day, 30 in the morning, 30 in the afternoon, and 30 at night, so this is my first cardio session, go ahead and get it done. Just finished up cardio, 30 minutes, got that out the way, now it's time to eat. So since this is a, um, a low carb week for me, I'm just doing... 80 grams of carbs a day, split into two meals, my first two meals, going to be 40 grams, meal number one, and 40 grams of meal number two. Getting my first meal, getting my carbs from, from oats, so, yeah, I know it's, it's not a lot, but for me, man, once you get so close to, to game day, you know, you don't really, you don't really think about carbs and protein and I mean all you think about is game day so I met with my coach last night and this the, was the adjustment he wanted to make so no big deal to me I knock it out you know so I'm gonna do 40 grams of oats 40 grams of oats and um, throw some chicken in there about eight ounces of chicken and a scoop of um, pro antium man I'm a, you know I've talked to Corey Matthews you know about my pro antium addiction and um, you know he was telling me man when you get close to the show you gotta you know come off of that and start taking nice and trooper and I do but it's a hard adjustment for me to make so but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this breakfast in and then after After I eat, you know, I'm probably, man, I'm off today, so I might lay back down, take me another nap, wake up, eat again, then go to the gym for my first training, training session of the day, which is probably be, which is usually, I, I go to the gym at lunch and I do um, biceps and calves and another cardio, but today, since I'm off, I'm going to go ahead and go to the gym I like going to and, and tear up some chest and... Um, do my cardio. I might do, throw some abs in there. I'm not a big abs guy, but whatever. Um, then after that, man, I'm come home, take another nap. Man, once once you start getting close to these shows, man, one of the most important things you can do is rest. You know, that's what keeps the body functioning, keeps the body going in the right direction. You know, I don't want to go into the show feeling run down. So I know it seems like I'm taking a lot of a lot of sleep, getting a lot of sleep in, which I am. So. Um, so after that, you know, after I train at night, go to the, back to the gym around 9, about 8.39, go ahead and do my biceps and calves, my last cardio session, and come home, go sleep, wake up, get ready for work. Well, really I get ready for my day the night before, so I pack my gym clothes, get my, my work clothes ironed out, and I get ready for the, for the next day. So that's the thing that I learned that a lot of successful people do, they get ready for the day in advance you know that night before so peace. this is the finished product of my breakfast you can see oats chicken and some diet green tea sugar free green tea and bottle of water now I know this don't really look too appetizing <laughs> But trust me, man, it's delicious, man. I, I, this is probably my favorite meal of the day. I run through this so fast. So, doesn't look like much, but trust me, you should try it. Oats and and the chicken. I didn't even I didn't even cut that up. I just tore it off. You know, tore a couple pieces off, about eight ounces worth. Threw it all in there, mixed it all together. That's meal number one. And like magic. Meal number one has disappeared. Totally annihilated that meal. Didn't stand a chance. What up? 
Just woke up from a fire nap. Feeling good, feeling energized. Um, feeling go ahead, put meal number two in. Um, just a little bit of white rice, 40 grams of carbs from white rice, and I might do 10 ounces of steak with this meal. Feeling a little hungry, so I don't know if everyone has a um, scale, but I talked to a lot of guys at the gym. You know, everybody, everybody actually, man, how do how do I get big? I say, well, you know, what your macros look like? What you eating? And this is where my white rice come from. Minute rice. Throw it, put a little bit in the microwave. I don't boil my rice. I just microwave it. So everybody asks me, like, you know, hey, man, you know, how do you get big? So I'm like, what's your macros? What you eating? How much you eat? You know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I eat a lot. That's, that's not the response. <laughs> Of someone who's really trying to, you know, put on size and put on that mask that they, you know, always dream about. So, um, you know, get a scale, man. Figure out how much you're eating. You know, figure out what you're eating, and that way you can you can work in or work out whatever was working or not working. You know. So, um, I advise everyone if you're serious about reaching your goals, not even in bodybuilding, just in life, for your fitness, your health and fitness goals, you know, um, get a scale. So, let's see. Got my, what is this, couple ounces, I think like a, a 1.5, I, I do my weighing in grams, so I did um, 50 grams, and that probably brings me up to about 40 grams of, of carbs. So, boom, put that in. Probably clean my microwave, goodness. Um, and I usually do three minutes. Boom. Now that's cooking. Come over here to the fridge. Let's see. Uh, got some already cooked up steak. Um, I see my wife has been in here a little bit. It's all good. Cause me and her, we, me and my wife, we pretty much eat all of the same food. Me and my wife eat the same food. It's crazy. Like, you know, I cook probably like two trays of, of chicken, and and then probably a matter of like two days, or probably even a day and a half. Between her packing chicken for lunch and eating chicken for dinner, blah blah blah, and eating chicken for breakfast. Man, that two trays are going man, so fast, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm usually the cook, so I'm cooking, putting all the stuff on the grill and stuff. So, man, I'm having a grill, you know, about two trays of chicken and occasionally some steak, like, every two or three days. So, matter of fact, I got to probably grill some chicken tonight. And I just cooked on, on Saturday, so. This is all good, though, because... I'd rather have her eating the same thing I'm eating than around her eating cakes and bonbons and ho hos. You know. Uh, so I'm gonna get this meal ready and I'll be right back with you.